The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gage, and this is the Art of Politics, the only show of its type, at least in this part of the world, and that's where the good Democrats, that's me, go against the bad Republicans, and this is John. How you doing? <laughs> John Burr, well, uh, representative. Well, thank you for having me yes, on again. You, 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 you were supposed uh, to be Al Baldessaro. What happened? Well, Al had another obligation, and he told me uh, a couple days ago. I'm shocked he didn't tell you. Excuse me, Al. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what it was, he wanted to throw you off, which Al said it doesn't take much. Doesn't take much. Well, especially with you, you uh, come on. We have we have a pretty good time. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about a good person. I think I think we should have a good person award all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of good people I out there. I gotta tell you about a, a good person. Uh, I lost my wallet, so I find my wallet. So we decided last night we're gonna go out for ice cream. Yeah. So I forgot my wallet at home. So we pulled up to the place, and this is in Dunstable. It's kind of a new place. And I got out, and we were heading towards the ice cream where the window. And uh, I said, oh, my God, I forgot my wallet. So uh, I ran back to the car. We didn't have enough money. The guy says, look, I'll give you $10. He really? Says, oh. So I got the $10. I bought ice cream, which cost 8 and I gave him back 2 And we sat down, and we talked for a long time. Oh. Obviously, I'm going to send him back. Yes. You know, the money, plus I'm going to give him a little painting, okay? Yeah. But we met some good people. And you know something, ladies and gentlemen? I personally do this all the time. For instance, if I'm standing in a line, a person's got one and I've got ten, I give them, you know, I give them, I let them go first. Yes. Yep, I've done you that know? many times. Yeah, yeah, and I wish more people would do that. So this person, it was just $10, it wasn't much, but it was ice cream. Yep. And uh, it probably wouldn't have been a big deal. As you can see, I really don't need it, having <laughs> said that. Uh, so that's a good person's award uh, we're going to give to this gentleman. And uh, the interesting thing is he wrote his name down, but I forgot his name. And so oh. that's terrible. <laughs> so a good person did a good deed, but you did it to an idiot who couldn't remember your name, <laughs> but we do have your address. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, that is that's a good story because. Right, okay. you, come on, you, a good person award for you. Something that took place this week. Oh, nothing this week. Nothing good happened to you. Good this week. Well, nothing that sticks out. I mean, there's been right. many times that well, people no, no, have been come nice on, it's to be me. Something. Did you? Were you nice to somebody? Well, I mean, I always open doors, and I believe in letting the ladies go first, even though some ladies go, I, I don't have to go first. And I said, uh, my mother says you do. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, we, we've, I've talked about this. Many times it's far better to go first and hold the door open because today the doors are not like they used to be. That is true. Where you open the door and try to keep it open, you can't. So yeah. what I usually do is I walk forward, I open the door, and I stand, and I let them through, which is, but I understand what you're saying. But I've had women uh, at the State House hold the door for us, so. Yes, yeah, yeah. So what is good of you? Come on. You well, I'm just trying something. to think. I, I, think I it's just showed just, that to Well, that's it. I think Come it's on. just, uh, you know, you know, if I see somebody in traffic, you know, I will stop for people to cross the road as long as they're in a crosswalk. 
<laughs> Other than that, you run them over. You, you skim them. <laughs> There's been a few times. Ooh, we go like that. Especially if their kids want to take their time getting across the road. I'm like, Ooh. come on, move, move, move. <laughs> you know, uh, ever, ever have those, I love these people who are right next to you and they have their radio going as boom, boom, oh, yes. boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. And you know, I would always wanted to have right under my car like a little whistle. It goes, so, you know, so yeah. he would listen to that. You'd think it was coming over his radio <laughs> you know, yeah. or and, a frog horn or something. And most of those cars that do that have terrible speakers. You know, they're crackly and, you know, but, oh, yeah, yeah but they're yeah. thinking that they're the cat's meow. And I'm like, look, you, you got $100 speakers. You know, if you're going to do that, at least put some good speakers in there. Well, I, uh, as uh, people may know, here in New Hampshire is Motorcycle Week. Yes. And, and I had gone there for 20 years in a row. I haven't been up there for, for a long time. But when we used to go there, you could park. They used to park the bikes all along the road and build camps. Yeah. You can't do that anymore. So really? We, so it's a really, really interesting week uh, that we have. Now, how many do you think went up there? When Because somebody told me they're estimating this whole week yeah, and the weekend yeah. will be 350,000 people. How do, how do uh, they fit that many up there? Well, uh, well, first of all, you have to understand that, that, that we have the largest uh, spectator sport in, the, in New England here in New Hampshire. Well, that'd be the, By the speedway. Yes, the speedway. Yes. So loud, and they that they go there. Believe it, not just to motorcycles. They go there for the racing. Oh. So that's basically where everyone ends up. So and if oh, you, so they're not actually up all on on Weir's Beach. Oh no 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 no! They're in Loudon. Oh no, 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 okay. No no, no 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 no! You you these these the majority of the people like bikes, but they also like bike racing. Let me tell you something. I have raced everything, including bikes, and I got news for you. When I see some of these professional people, you know, riding and making turns and having to put, I'm not kidding you, they need knee pads. Yeah. And the knee pads have to be made out of like steel. So because they bend so far when they make the turn, they're really kind of resting on their knee and sparks. I mean, it's, yeah. it's really nuts. Yeah, I heard it's that close. 160 miles an hour on really? a motorcycle. How fast will they get in Loudoun? Oh, 120, 130. Really? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Going into the corners at that oh, speed. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, motorcycles are kind of different. You can downshift them and they'll, they'll still yeah. slow down. Yeah. And many times there's, there's so much pressure, just letting up on the gas is almost like breaking it. Yeah. And besides, you're, since you're out there, you're like a, like a sail. We have Father's Day coming up. Yes. Do you have children? I do. How many? I got two, and I got two stepkids. So two okay. of my own kids. And All right. How old are your children? Uh, let me see. Uh, Jeremy's 35. And Heather, 35? Yes. I started very young. I was you were. 20, 20 years old when Jeremy was wow. born. Wow. And Heather is 37. So I was 18. 18? Yeah, when Heather was you born. You had your first child at 18? Yeah. I bought my first house when I was 19 years old. Okay, what? I, I had a drive that I wanted to, you know, I mean, Heather kind of came all of a sudden. Oh, oh, oh there's so, Heather. Yeah, there. 18. Hi, Heather. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she came pretty So you were married, man, I take it? Uh, shortly after that. Oh, I see. So <laughs> now so. <laughs> this is the, by the way, this is the Republican yeah, well. where nobody does anything before they get married, right? That's right. Mm, well, she, can I say Heather was a preemie then? No, you cannot. You know, like a couple. No, she, no, she no, was only, no, no, my, no. My, my wife was only pregnant for a couple months. Fat chance. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Mother's Day, I got a statistics. 83% of the kids or children buy Mother's Day gifts. I would say so, yes. 83%. Well, I'm shocked it's not more. That's but. right. But are you ready for Father's Day? Yeah. Guess how many? I would say less. Yes. Why would you say less? Well, I think people are more closer to their mother. You know, as a rule, I mean, you know, the, the kids definitely love their fathers, but, you know, the mother has that well, special I, mother I, bond. Yeah, well, I think 73% is not enough. If 83% is not enough for women, no, the, the mothers, 73% no. makes us really look bad. 
kids, by the time you see the show, it's going to be all over anyway. If you didn't buy your father a gift or go <laughs> yes. over and give him a hug or call or done something, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame yeah. on you. We, 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 men are treated poorly. Yes, yeah. We treat it poorly. Now, yeah. I want to go over a couple things. Well, can I make one? You may. Well, I know, like you said, yes. Father's Day is going to be gone. Yes. The time they air this. But can I borrow your cell phone for a minute? Why? I just want to hold it. Because okay. I want to show you what happened. Okay. I, my wife took me out for Father's Day. Yeah. And here's this father. Uh, we went to Bugaboo Creek when it used to be up in Bedford, and it's okay. gone now. Okay. But new restaurants yeah. there. Well, here's this young girl. She's sitting there. And this right. is what she's doing, ignoring her father on Father's Day. So I looked over, and I said, hey, sir, would you like to come over here and sit, and we'll visit? <laughs> really? Well, I'll tell you, that girl, didn't, she, she was probably 20, 23. She didn't see any humor in that. You know, there's and the father said he was okay, and I said, well, you know, you're being ignored on... Uh, you know, Father's Day. And he probably, in a way, liked that. Oh, I bet you he did. Uh, but he said, I'm okay. And she did put her cell phone down after that. Shame on them. Yeah. Shame so I just them. want to tell people, you know, cell phones, I, they're great inventions, but I hate the things. Because so many people, it made people rude. And now this new generation of cell phone, you know, addiction is coming up. And I've talked to kids, and they're sitting there, what? looking at their cell phone. I'm like, put that damn thing down and talk to me. Oh, that's true. That's so, true. you know, that's that my is. little, my uh, well, etiquette I, I've lesson, got, I've if got I a, can I, say I that. i sort of tell you, my son comes home from China, he brings his girlfriend. Yeah. So she's sitting at the dinner table, and her phone goes off, and she sort of starts text, texting, and I went like this. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Very, she's very sensitive. Away it went. I never saw her texting after that. She yeah. never texted in front of me. But it, yeah. it, it is, it's very, very rude. And, uh, but I don't think the etiquette has really kind of been set up yet. No. But I mean, it's just, you know, it just, you know, the rudeness of it. You know, I guess kids aren't being taught that as much today as you a, probably taught your kids. A, in a college, I heard this yesterday, I swear to God, it's the truth. There's so many people texting. This is factual. I'm not, I'm not making this up. Yeah. They're going to have a path or a part of the walkway are going to be for people who are texting. Real. Part of the walkway <laughs> for people who are walking. And part of the walkway is going to be for riding bikes. Yeah. So I guess it would be a big path or something like that. Yeah. But when you have to, can you imagine being out in nature yeah. and kind of missing it? Yeah. Yeah, having your head down and not aware yeah. of your surroundings. Now, you, you do know July 1st is coming. Yeah. Well, and? you won't be able to use that cell phone in that car of your car. Oh, here we go. The, Look out. No, the, no. The Democrats did it, okay, not, right, not me. Right, okay, okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> Let me go over a couple of things because okay. I want to get, get, get away. Uh, we're talking about men and women. Yes. All right. I, just a couple things. Uh, breast cancer, we know it's awful. It's like the worst thing that can happen. 92% are being completely cured. So there's 8% wow. that's not. Well, that's okay. still good. That's, I mean, you know, hopefully that's, someday that's, it's all That's honored. great. Uh, prostate cancer for men, 68 to 70% are surviving. And I, I'm, I'm assuming prostate cancer is 100% curable if you catch it early enough. Is that true? Well, or close to 100? I don't know that to be factual. But when you have 92% and you have 68% to 70%, uh, that means 30 die, 30 percent die compared to eight percent of women. Of yeah. course, we, we so we kind of got to The men have to start, you know, standing up. And it's interesting because when when the breast cancer, this whole thing, men really, you know, this is your wife, so this is your yeah. mother, this is your grandmother. Yeah. Well, guess what? It's your father. It's your grandfather. It's your uncle. It's your, your, your boyfriend. It's a friend of yours. It's somebody's friend. So you, we got to pay attention to sort of, you know, kind of men things. Now, one more thing, and I'm going to move over, and we're going to go on. One more <coughs> thing about men, and, I, and this is, by the way, I had a, 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 a physical, and I took blood, and I'm fine. My wife said, oh, I'm stuck with you 20 more years. <laughs> uh, so we're talking. 
And this is a really a very bright lady, and we're talking. And finally, I said, you know what I don't like? I really don't like to hear, uh, you know, violence against women. Send your money here. Do, do this. Violence against women. Of course, we shouldn't have violence. I says, well, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like it's men all the time that are violent against yeah. women. Yeah, yeah. And she said, you're absolutely right. Yeah. And she said, you know, it's only 50%. Really? And I said, well, who are the she others? She did say that. Yes, and she well, says, thank and, you. and she said, uh, <clears throat> they're lesbian girls who beat each other up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Women do fight a lot, oh, believe yes. it or not. Yeah. They do physically fight back and forth. And uh, I said, well, well, and she says, you know why they don't bring this up? And they just say violent against women. So it's like men against women. It's not true. That's not true. I grew up in a house where there was a younger sister and an older sister. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You, you learn to be good oh, yes. to, to, to girls. It's the money. They're worried about raising uh. money for the, and of course, we want to raise as much money as we can, violence against women. But let's get something straight. It's not all men violent <laughs> against women. Yeah. And by the way, uh, women are getting arrested for beating up men. Uh, they are. Or clocking them. <laughs> yes, men are finally starting to report it. Well, actually, not only that is is that the police are kind of, you know, going in and saying, he pushed you, well, how, how come he's got this thing on his head? <laughs> you know? uh, so I just thought I'd, I'd want to, you know, go through that thing because it's Father's Day, and yes. I, I, I yeah. thought that, you know, uh, Breast cancer is awful. We've got to cure that. But let's not forget men are really kind of low. 30% uh, can die, and, yeah. and that's not right. Or, you know, 28%. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's not the way it should be. No. So, so, ladies, we need your help because we helped you. So whatever we can do, let, let's try to do something. But let's try to also have uh, respect for men, too, because we do respect women. Oh, yes, We're, yes. You know, we've got yeah. two good wives, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm very blessed to have my wife. Yeah, well, I, I'm blessed most of the time. <laughs> she's tough on me. Let me, let me tell you. But well, she, I do, she's also a state representative. Well, that's yeah. it. Well, I do tell my wife that I think there are laws against her whacking me sometimes, uh, being a state rep. Because sometimes I'll say something dumb, and she'll come over, and she'll just hit me in the arm, and I go... You know, I think there's a law against that. Do you, you, you want to know the, the you want to know the, the interesting thing about that? If you got on the telephone and you call the police and you said that your your wife hit you, they would come down. Oh, uh, they would. I wouldn't do it, and but you yes. would say yes. But a lot yeah. of women do this against men. And yeah. Look. I, I want to sort of get a, away from this. But oh, yeah. It's going to be Father's Day, but I just wanted to, you know, show that men do not beat up women. No, no. You know, that, so it's not what it, you hear on TV, and it upsets me when I hear that. Yeah. And it really upset that uh, nurse, by the way. And she good. gave me all the statistics. So yeah. so anyway, that, that, that's good. Well, if you don't mind me touching one basis on the breast cancer, you know, when I was about 20, um, a neighbor of mine, a male. Yeah, had got, breast cancer. Uh, and I was like, I thought that was just women, and it's not. I, it's, I don't think it's a very big percent of men. That is a good point, because if you think about it, are men really going to talk about it? Well, that's true, too. Are men really going to talk about it? Yeah. So it's really just, yeah, the women getting the notice. That's right. I wonder what the percentage is. All right. If anybody is out there who knows the percentage, and by the way, uh, I have said this before, John, and, and, yeah. and maybe you're going to be doing it. At, where, at your, do, you do a show in? In Goffstown. In Goffstown. Yeah. And I was up there and, yes. and on your show. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, well, tell your viewers to hopefully, uh, you know, it'll be down here. Oh, this, yeah. The we're, show we're, that we did it will be airing here. That's right. The show that we air, well, talk to your Goffstown people. Yeah. I mean, come well, on. Well, the show that we air here, uh, we... Uh, we, you know, I bring it up to Goffstown and air it there, and then also the show when Representative yeah. Gidge, Ken, yeah. was up there. Uh, we're going to show it down here. We're going to show the one we did down yeah. here. Yeah. So we, you know, and it kind of works out good because it kind of, you know, it gives me a week off if I want to take, especially with the summer here. I kind of like having a week off here and there, you know, because as you know, doing a show is a lot of work, but it's rewarding. I love doing it. Well, it's not for me. I, I did radio for six years, so radio well. was tough, okay? <laughs> but it, actually, it, 
it's not. I can just, if look, if you have somebody interesting like yourself to talk to, or and hopefully you say that I'm interested, yes. then it's not a bad bad way of going yeah. about it. Yes. I have interviewed people on the radio. How are you? Good. So what do you do? I'm a doctor. <laughs> and, and what are you a doctor? I, well, I'm a podiatrist. So how's business? Good. And I said, stop it. We got 45 <laughs> minutes. You got to, you know, you got to talk more. Yes. Right? Yeah. No, I've been lucky. I've had, you know, I think mostly good people on. You know, most of the people that I've had on, they just talk away. Have you ever had um, uh, Secretary of State Gardner on? Yes, I have. I, I, I sat down, and I was warned that this would happen, and it, it came true. I sat down, and I said, Secretary of uh, Gardner, I want to thank you for coming on, and could you talk a little bit about, I can't remember what the topic was, and he says, I can. And I just sat there for about 50 minutes, and he carried the whole show. That's right. And <laughs> he, I, he is excellent. And I want to tell you something. Uh, Richard here and myself are talking to Mr. Gardner, our secretary, yeah. and he is really, truly a historian. He is. Unbelievable. And, and so what we want to sit down, and we're going to do a <clears> whole <throat> bunch of shows of like 15 to 20-minute shows wow. that can be kept at the state house and basically it will not be me i will ask the questions but you'll just see you know the secretary of state talking because the the information that he has yes is just unbelievable yeah. stuff yeah it's yeah. uh oh he, i mean he's just a a walk in history book yeah yeah, yeah pretty incredible guy Okay, so by July 1, ladies and gentlemen, if you go like this with your telephone in the car, you shall be... Fined $100. Fined $100. First offense. First offense. And what's the second? 250 And what's the third? You win the grand prize of a $500 and withdrawal out of your ATM. The fourth? You have to eat your phone. <laughs> well, they, I, I, I don't they know. They will grill it. you got to eat it. Well, maybe they just put it down on the road and run it over. Aha. Uh -huh. that, that may work. Now, wait, why are you against this? Because we have the distracting driver's law already. So yeah. we didn't need this. You don't need, in other words, but but <clears> they <throat> cannot, They police cannot. He, he, if you're driving down the road with a cell phone, and all of a sudden, you're hitting the white line, the yellow line. The policeman can stop yeah, you and cite you right, for okay. distracted but driving. But if a person has a cell phone at their, their, their ear, you're saying that they may not be distracted? Are you saying everybody who uses a phone is distracted? I think some are distracted, but some, I think, can, can do it properly. So you're saying not to do that? Oh, I, I don't use my cell phone very rare in the car, right, okay, and I, right. I stress to everybody. You got a wallet on you? Do you, can you? If you hold your wallet up to your... Well, in committee, I mentioned that, <laughs> because I, I sat on the committee, I I, I... and I took my wallet out, and I said, now what happens if I do this? And the officer said, that was testifying from the Department of Safety, said, well, it's going to be up to the judge, John, if I'm telling the truth that I think it was a cell phone, or are you telling them that it was a uh, wallet? You know, I had been thinking about this, and I just set you up for it. You probably did. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> anyone going down the street holding their wallet to their ear, <laughs> they need more than a fine. they got to get out more, and you should check and see if they're still on their medications. Yeah. I mean, well, so you don't think you'd ever have your cell phone, I mean, your wallet in your hand, and then you have an itch, and do the? <laughs> <laughs> that could happen. I know that's like saying when you're 18, this little child came along, you didn't know where it came from. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. That's not. Yeah. No, no, no. That's. Not likely that I would be itching my head, going by a cop with my... It, you're, that's amazing. Well, who, who's the tech guy on the radio station up in Manchester, the 610? I, I don't know. Well, I, I didn't realize he's on the Apple board, you know, some director. So, you know, that's a pretty big position, I think. Uh, but he said in the NH1 News interview that they did with him about the cell phone law... He said it's going to make the roads more dangerous, and he said the states that have it have shown a small increase in accidents. Why? Because he said, and still, he did this, he held up a phone, and he goes, all right, would you rather have somebody doing this 
which I prefer, no, or would you have them like this? Well, and because people are going to abuse no, it. No, well, hold on a second. Yeah, you know, I, I, our car is two years old. Okay, so it, it's still kind of new. Uh, but I can, because we have Bluetooth, yes. hook this up to the car. Yeah. And have a stand for it. Yep. And when the phone rings, I can answer it by my steering wheel. And there's a little microphone up here. I'm not kidding you. Oh yes, uh, no. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know any of this. So now I'm trying to trying to program it. I've installed Bluetooth in my truck. You did. Yeah, and it's voice activated. So what it does is, when the phone rings, it'll say, you know, Ken Gidge, if it's in the directory. Yeah. Is calling you, answer or ignore, and I'll say answer. Really? So I don't have to touch anything. Honestly, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Would you? When we leave here, can you help me with my car? Yeah. Out there? <laughs> yeah. No, and they're very inexpensive. You know, less than a hundred dollars on on you know eBay or to hook them up. Yeah, you know, to buy them, or you can go right to the Verizon store for. I think I paid. I bought it right here locally, and it was a hundred dollars. Well, but, I guess mine is hooked into the my car. Yes, you. Yeah, the all new. For virtually all new cars are coming equipped with it now. And the big thing that Chevy is doing is they're going to have Wi-Fi in their automobiles. I know. I'm wondering how dangerous that is because... No, that's well, really good. Well, for little Tommy in the back seat, it's good. But how about for the dumb... Uh, not that all 18-year-olds are dumb, but the dumb, inexperienced, let's say, inexperienced kid. No, dumb is good. Okay. <laughs> now, let's use dumb. Okay. You know, is he going to be looking at Facebook? Well, uh, I can look at Facebook now. Well, I guess you're because, right. Because, you know, because yeah. I, uh, I have, uh, you know, obviously. But yes. the interesting thing about that is if I'm at Wi-Fi, I'm not charged. Because this is a, this is an Apple. So we hook on and Wi-Fi is not charged. Yes. Because I'm using, and, be, and be, now I've got phone. I had the red little thing I had over, it was my old phone. Yeah. I can have, when I have Wi-Fi, I can use that as a phone. No, does Chevy? There must be a charge like uh, what's that? Um, the satellite phone. That's what it is. Um, oh, what is that called? Uh, OnStar. Star, OnStar. Yeah, yeah, OnStar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or Sirius Radio. Yeah. No, yeah. OnStar would be it. Yeah. So it's similar to that, and you pay a fee then. I would imagine, but well, I think having Wi-Fi in your automobile is. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, we've done the women, we have done the wallet to the head, we have done the Wi-Fi, we have done the good person of the week, and don't forget what? I don't know. No, I do have one question so for you. Well, hold on a second. Here we go. All right. Okay. Why does somebody drive down the highway, and there's nobody in front of them, <clears throat> This has happened a couple times in the last five years, say. It happened today. And I'm, I'm far enough back. I don't like tailgating. I don't like using my yeah, cell phone, yeah. et cetera. Yeah. So I'm driving. I'm getting older as a driver. So people are, more cars are passing me now than I ever pass. And they stop, almost stop. And I'm like. Stop? Yeah. So in, I, I'm slow. Yep. So I'm slowing down. And I'm like, uh, hello. Uh. What is he, stopping? Yeah. But, and it, it had to be one of your people. Democrats? Yes, <laughs> because they were driving a Prius. Oh, oh. that's right. Republicans <laughs> drive gas guns. That's right. And God bless America. Prius. God yeah, bless yeah. America. Drill yeah. that oil. And, uh, but I just want to know, why do you think people do that? Well, I think they're mentally ill. <laughs> And I think they're, you know, their phone fell on their foot and, you know. Oh, uh, maybe. I'll tell you what upsets me. Now, I, I, because it, you, we have to kind of do politics because that's what we, we are. Yes, yes, yeah, we so aren't talking anything about let, that. Let me you say, <laughs> going to the state house. Yes. Uh, and there is a passing lane, <clears throat> and there's a, kind of a middle lane, all right, and there's a lane where people would stop. You know, yes. That's your lane, <laughs> yeah. all right? Okay. Uh, and the people texting, all that's your lane. Why do people get in the passing lane and stay there? I agree. What is this all about? Why can't the, is there, isn't there a law against that? There is. So what are we going to do about it? I mean, well, we're, I've we're, seen we're, people we're, pulled over for it. You have? Yeah, I saw one guy uh, going to Concord up past the Hooksick Toll. 
and he was uh, uh, on his cell phone because I passed him, you know, which is uh, I don't think is legal. Cell phone, then we go to the cell phone. I don't okay, think it's legal, right. but I passed him on the right. Yes, it is. No, oh, oh, you who can. Cares? Who cares? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I didn't bring it because I was nervous there, about it. There's no law. <laughs> so I drove on the right and I look over and there he is, 55 miles in the third lane. And I honk my horn and I, I do this after he looks. And You know and, what I do? I, I get behind him and I go like this, click the, and yeah. I get far enough behind where they see a number on the plate. Yeah. They can't read the number and they don't know I'm a lowly state representative. Yeah, I think yeah. maybe I'm a cop. <laughs> so most of the time, but most of them just go, eh. Yeah. And well, you know, like read between the, you know. Well, th that's the Massachusetts ones. Oh. Well, I, I've seen a bunch of them. And nothing against some of my Massachusetts friends. Talking about Massachusetts, I talked to a person last night from Massachusetts who said, New Hampshire is insane for not passing a gaming license bill. You mean uh, the Monopoly no, casino? No, no. You, you, Oh, I, oh, oh, I'm just please, stating facts. Please. I'm Listen, sorry, I got you, facts you here. You know what a you know what an amendment is? Yes. First, you get one. Hold on. Yep. And if it works well, everybody will want one. If it doesn't work well, nobody will want one. So, an amendment is to change the law we have to add a one, a two, a three more. So you, in turn, are the rascal who is <laughs> going to lose millions and millions and millions of dollars. Going to mess with this. No, uh, I'm, yes, I'm protecting the state of New, uh, uh, the taxpayers of New Hampshire from paying for this. You know something, you're nuts. No, I'm telling yeah, you. No, no, I, yeah, I, yeah, no yeah, Ken, yeah, I'm yeah, serious. Yeah, 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 you're nuts. The viewers know the truth. The, the, the view, look. No, they're going to come marching in this door and they're going to tell you John Burt is right that this, it was a monopoly and it was going to end up, we had to hire 50 more policemen, state troopers, and I'm going, why? Oh, I don't know, 50, 60 million you know, dollars extra coming in and estimated of four to five hundred thousand extra people. I think they should have hired a hundred. But no, you don't see that. The Republican goes, oh, we're going to spend money. We're going to spend money. But guess what? You got to spend it to make a little. Well, then what happened in 2012? Governor Hassan. What? Hooked to your hip. She wanted the gambling bill. And the House was controlled by yes. Terry Norelli. And ladies and, and that gentlemen. that bill went down in flight. No, well, that's lost true. by one. Okay, I guess you are right. This lost year, by one. This year, everybody was shocked on that number. It yeah. lost by 57 votes, oh, and everybody was all. shocked. All right, uh, how are you when it comes to uh, Medicaid expansion? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and you are from... Uh, Gosstown, where and dear, Gosstown. I represent. Hold on a second. I'm going to try to figure this one out here. I don't know. Well, let's, I'm, I'm going to go to Londonderry because that's where, where, where my buddy lives over there. We All didn't right. show up today. I, I, didn't, I didn't get you in the computer. <laughs> uh, so you're saying the people who have it should not have it anymore. Is that correct? I'm saying they never should have received it okay. to begin with. So now they have insurance, and now you're saying take it away. But they have a letter when they signed up that it was going to expire okay. on this so particular date. So the question day. is, in other words, you're going to take it away from me. Yes. Okay. You're going to take So over in Londonderry, uh, where Al would be, 364 people in his area are going to lose insurance when that doesn't pass. Now, in Nashua... That's not necessarily. Oh, what do you mean, not necessarily? Th that's, that's a fudge number. Not, that's a fudge number? Yes. How Why many? is that a fudge number? So 387. Yeah. All right, 387. No, it's 364. Oh, it's 364. Right yeah. From what I heard yesterday, yes. because we're not going to pass it in the budget... Come on, come on. ...is what they're going to do is a third of them will be able to stay on the real Medicaid... The real Medicaid. Yes. The real Medicaid. Instead of the expanded Medicaid. So th they won't see any difference. So they'll oh, oh, they'll oh, switch oh, from expanded oh, oh, Medicaid wait, to wait, the... Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold a second. So you're saying a third of them are going to keep their insurance? Yes. So uh, and then uh, I was... how is we going to pay for this? 
Well, it just goes under regular Medicaid, which will be billed at the regular rates. All right. So, instead of this expanded so part. So instead of 364 people losing their insurance, it's only going to be 220 people who are going to lose their insurance. And that's in London Dairy. Well, then, uh, a, not, then I, I, I was told a Hollis, third of those, another third, oh, will go on the Obamacare, sure. the exchange. Okay, now here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hudson, 475. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? You're going to lose your insurance. Now, 475. Hollis, Hollis can't have anybody. 60. 60 people in Hollis. Only Amherst, rich people live in Hollis. 129. I thought rich people lived in Hollis. Well, I thought rich people lived in Amherst. Oh. <laughs> well, and how many are losing in the... 60 in Hollis. Wow. Uh, Milford, 350, will lose their insurance because of the Republicans will not let Medicaid pass go through. Shame on them. No. People have insurance. What are you going to do? What are you going to say to them? Why did the voters put us there? It was that. That's what my voters put me up there you know, for. You know, I, I'm kind of a little sick of people saying that. That's I'm, what my voters for. I got news for you. You go over and you talk to you, the 260 people uh, uh, oh, Al has to go talk to, have them sit down and have them take the insurance away. Al, they don't call Al. Al won't tell you that they call him. <laughs> well, they should. And, and, and when that goes, when I, and I, think they, I think everyone who doesn't go for it should be thrown out. So goodbye. <laughs> Take your phone with you. Hey, I want to know how are you going to pay for it. Uh, oh, I would. Let me see. Winding the waz down. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on a second. No, wait. New Hampshire's La got to pay it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm seeing a lot of signs that saying hiring need help. Well, maybe in some fact, of those people can get a job fact, then. Murphy who owns a restaurant up yes. there, who pays well over the minimum wage, although he fights against it, yeah. says to me he can't get help. Yeah, he cannot get good help. Cannot he cannot find help. Yeah, good help, he told so, me. Yeah. Well, and that's not nice. Just finding, well, can't find help, and good or bad. Yeah, oh, They're that's not true. There. What do you think, bad help come in and I don't want you? Well, it's because of these programs. People don't want to work with some of them, not all. Some of them. Some of them don't want to work. No, there are. You said to me, how are we going to pay for it? And I'm saying, listen, when, when Obamacare came in, you kept saying that. All of a sudden, here in the United States, there are more jobs taking place. And let me tell you, there are more jobs that can't be filled because there's not the, the, the educated are not there. I think last week or at yes. the show we talked about Yeah, it. I agree with that. There's not, not enough money going into yeah. the trade schools. Yes, right? yeah, and I think we need to fix that issue. But we need to fix our public schools, too. Oh, public schools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah pu let's, fi l let's fix the public schools by having and giving money to religious schools. I support that. And giving money to startup schools. I believe in that. And you believe. But now that money that we have, the schools that are already built, how do we care for all of that? How do we take care of that? By competition. Oh, I see. So, but how does the city pay for the school system they have if they keep giving their money off to other people? You're saying competition? So what they do is they get rid of 80% of the administration that we don't need. Here we go. We 80, don't need it. I'm telling you, your viewers rate. will go, John Burr, God bless them, because they know it's true. 80% of, so, in, so we yeah. can hear, so if you have one principle, then you only need 20% of that no, principal, so above, he can come in. Above the principal. He, 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 oh, vice principals? No, no, above. Above how, the vice principals. How many superintendents does Nashua have? One. No. One superintendent. I guarantee you there's a dozen superintendents like down here. Bet? And I bet you that he, I'll, he I'll has an ice cream. I'll bet you ice cream. Four dollar ice cream. Up, okay. up to King Cone. Yeah, we'll go over to King Cone and get an ice cream. Is, okay? and, well, and, he's got to have a dozen yeah. assistants and secretaries and assistants, yeah. and they you, buy you, his car. You don't understand. In Nashville, we're cheap. But, na but they, no, no, they buy his cheap. car, too. The Nashville. So what? <laughs> he doesn't need a so taxpayers what? to pay his Forty-five thousand, eighty thousand. Well, I don't know what he pays for his car. Oh my God! Nobody no, bought no. my car when I worked for me. 
be on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I did work for myself. Nobody bought my own car when I worked for me. When I worked wait, for wait, myself. Wait, 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 wait. Well, I bought on. my own car out of my I money. I want a tape on that. <laughs> that did come out wrong. Nobody <laughs> bought a car for me when I own my own business. Well, there we go. <laughs> this is the guy who goes down the highway with his wallet to his ear. That's here. right. <laughs> Boy, that's, that's very bizarre. I'm going to find out how many people are going to lose their insurance. I'm trying to find out. You, you so that's New Boston. I've got New Boston. Well, I'm that's right a, next to New Boston. Well, Gosto, okay. 224 people are going to lose their insurance if you elect and pay attention to these people, which is a Republican politician, not a Republican voter. Republican politician. Shame on you. You yeah. guys ought to be thrown out. No, no. The, the, no, the huh? voters want Gosto. this. Excuse me. 240 people who, who have insurance don't vote? Well, sadly, some uh, of them don't. I, will, I think everybody should I vote. Will tell, I will bet you if these 240 people got together, they could vote you out. No, as a rule, I usually win more than that. <laughs> more than 240? Yeah, last time I won by over 1,100. 1,100? Yeah, I'm pretty liked. <laughs> Wow. And I don't understand. I mean, I really don't. I, I mean, don't understand why they hire you. Well, they don't know. Well, I, but I'm Nobody on my, else wants to do it up there. But I'm on my television show every week, and I, I figure I insult everybody at least twice a year. Insult them? Well, by telling them this stuff, by telling them the truth. We, by telling them the truth? Yeah, that we cannot afford this expanded you, Medicaid. You know something? You know something? We, we argued about this on your show, but we'll let's argue about it here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Republican who wants to do all these cuts because yes. it's far better, uh, well, there is a little something called investing in the state of New Hampshire, such as tourism dollars. And we One fully funded that. tourism dollar is $7.99, yep. and you did what? It, we, I heard about it yesterday. They mentioned it. They fully funded it. Fully funded. Funded it, which I Did agree they with give you. Give any extra? I agree with you on this that we probably should look into. Can we make more money? You, uh, it's wow! Congratulations! I've seen so the you light. can invest in it. Yes. Invest. Well, there you go. Yes, because that is worth investing. Well, thank you, but you see, I'm from Hillsborough County. Yes. Are you from Hillsborough? Yeah, yeah. You go to the, by the way, we got we to gotta cook out next week. Yeah, next week. Tuesday. <laughs> next Tuesday. <laughs> the, yeah, June 23rd. Yeah, I love the cookouts. <laughs> hot dog. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Half a hot dog split. Well, then the, then the prisoners cook them. No. Yes, you've been the there. The prisoners cook them? Yeah, they're the, they're the jailbirds there. Jeez, I was convinced they were all state representatives. No, no, cooking, they are cook, cooking the, the hot state. dogs, the people yeah. at the grills. No, the, the, they got the guard, and then they got the three... I never saw that. Yeah, no, I, I talk to him every Although time. I did lose my wallet again. Oh, did you? <laughs> no, I always go visit with them, ask them how things are going, and they said, okay. Okay, I mean, I'm out here cooking hamburgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's better than being and in the I, cell. I'm sticking a, a knife in my thing, you know, I'm getting away with it. Yeah. 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 Oh, how's Dana Mora? You, have you heard that story? What? Have you ever been up to Dana Mora? Um, it's in New York, and it's uh, where the real real bad boys of New York go. Okay. Two prisoners broke out. You must have heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they cut through a sewer pipe or something oh, or a drain was, pipe. That, that, yeah, Is that a Shawshank argument. redemption uh, all over yeah. again? Yeah, and I got news for you. This this is a movie. Okay? This, is. this is. Because these are two killers. Yeah. They got away, and they're still away. Oh, a couple weeks now. And they got people running around with dogs, and they had yeah. this lady who gave them something. Yeah, the power tools. Supposed to pick them up or yeah. going to kill my husband. And now she worked at the... She worked well, she at, wanted him dead. Yes. yes. She, and he works there, too. Yes. That's yeah. a nice family. Yeah. That's, a, <laughs> that's a good Mother's Day and Father's well, Day. Well, that's it. Yeah. Well, I hope I my wife he never thinks of those things. That's yeah, what that's I think. It. I think he should do it. And why don't we talk about something that's very sad, which you kind of brought it up, was the nine people who were killed in the church. I don't Black know a lot people. about that. I, I've heard the tragedy, but I haven't seen much of the... Uh, you know, of the story. You know, I just, I haven't followed it. Well, now, it's the same story. The person had a gun, which you and I... Legally bought. 
No, actually, his father gave it to him on his 21st birthday. Oh, I thought it was illegal. Okay. No. And uh, he had shown mental problems. Yes. He went to a mall, a particular mall, and he was asking managers when some of their employees got out of work and was trying to, so they got rid of him, they threw him out of the mall, then he went back and they arrested him, now he can't go in the mall. So mentally ill yes. he was. Yep. And we have talked about this. Now, as a Republican, you believe that guns should be... Uh, anyone that legally should own it and, should be and able to. And by have the way, it. you and El Baldassar are going to sign for me so I can get a, a to yeah, carry. Yeah, conceal one. carry. Yes. You know, I, yeah, I, you can I, use me as a the reference. The only thing I'm going to carry is the carry thing that you can. Oh, have. the holster. No, 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 no. I'm just just the certificate. Oh, that just I the, get. oh, just the paper. Yeah, I, because I want El Baldassar and your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Uh, Nine, it was a, a black church, a white uh, kid went in there, I guess he was treated very nicely, and yeah. then he got up and he said, I'm going to shoot all the ends, and started shooting, and uh, killed nine people. One happened to be the, the minister there, or the, yeah. or the reverend, and uh, again, a mentally ill person has a gun, and what are we going to do about it? And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hand it over to the Republican who has his own show and who's from Golfstown, by the way. And hi, Golfstown, how are you? Yes. But he is going to tell us what we can do. And by the way, they did cut money for mental health here in the state of New Hampshire. Now, back to you. How are we going to cure this problem? Well, for the mental health part, I know that is fully funded from what I understand. No, from last year, fully funded. No, it has. As a matter of fact, I think extra. it has. I think there's extra, a little. A little. Extra. A little. Yes. Okay. But that's not a cut. Oh, I see. <laughs> so they add $50, you know, it's $100. Still, they, it's still, yeah, 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 you know. can't call it a cut. I, I, I know. I know. And we're so lucky up here that we haven't had any bad, ex, you know, really nutty people. Well, that's true. We need to look at that. But they also, to go to the gun, you can't blame the gun. Because I heard this on the radio or on TV, they mentioned it. They said there was a guy that took his SUV and drove it into a playground and killed a couple kids. Not one person said we need to have controls you know, of that gun la or that car. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Republican way, the NRA. That's so dumb. No, I'm telling no, you. No, that's well, no, why don't no, they? No, that, that's pretty dumb. But Ken, why I don't, don't I they? Know, I don't know. How about if they pick the up a vehicle. rock and now we're gonna ban rocks? Well, that's what and you want. Ban you cars. want to ban just that one no, item? No, I'll tell you what. If a truck can go at the speed of sound, yes, or a car can go at speed of sound and it's killing people, I think we ought to get rid of it. Well, but cars are killing people, oh, and we don't say nothing I about see. that. No, and that's a great way for the Republicans to, to try to move it over to something else. Oh, no, well, it's we, the truth. I can stab you with this. Should we eliminate these? Yes, and that uh, makes me we, scared. That make <laughs> <laughs> but, the, the, but the big yeah, thing is, <laughs> is the car is not constitutionally protected where the gun is. So there's a huge difference between the you two. Know, you know something? You know something, we, I don't care what you say, we have to do something. And you know I voted for all uh, the gun things. Except, I agree, we except do. Except for the one that anybody could carry without a permit. I just didn't yep. think that that was a good idea, yep. personally. There has to be a way to stop this, but I don't know how. I mean, how do you stop? It's mentally illness. But how do you stop him? I tried, I tried to think about that also. You know, like, he could uh, have gone in with an ass, an axe, no, 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 no. and started Let's swinging say, and no, only stop, killed three stop, people. Stop it, stop it, stop it. It was a gun, okay. And I tried to think, this kid was given a gun by his father, 21st birthday. Yeah. Uh, uh, his friend said that he was not acting well. So would you say friends made a mistake by not throwing a net over him? Yeah. Uh, he went into a mall asking very odd questions and thrown out of the mall, then banned from the mall. Do you think the people who arrested him, they should have done what? Well, the problem is the laws aren't there. 
you know, they, they did what they could by probably issuing, I'm assuming, issuing a no trespass to the mall. No, no, that's, but that's not what I mean. I mean, where do we grab these people, throw nets over these people? How do we do it? <laughs> that is the million dollar question. Hey, but your cure is everybody have a gun. Well, I believe, you know, anybody law-abiding so should have so a, be, access go. to so a gun. Every, so that's right. So we go into the church, he goes in the church, everybody takes out the gun and shoots him. Yes. And that's your cure. Not the, more mental health? Not more mental illness? I think there's got to be a way to address the mental health issue. What is it? I, I, I don't know. Oh, you know, well, your, your whole thing is let's give everybody a gun. I don't well, cure the, the mental ill. We'll the, shoot them. The, you know, and I kind of, I mean, I'm, I very seldom agree with the ACLU. Oh, Mike, well, hold on a second. What, what day and time is this? <laughs> Please. But the problem is, is if they say, okay, if Ken Gidge acts a certain way, we can bring him in. They do it already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the police or somebody yeah, will yeah, come yeah, and get yeah, you, the yeah, guys yeah, with the yeah, white coat. Yeah, yeah. Well, the problem is the ACLU and other groups are going to say, no, he can act any way he wants. And so uh, where, how, do we, yeah. how do we nail him down? How do we nail that kid down and say, you know what, he really does have some problems without violating his rights? Well... Th that's the question. You know, the, the reason why I have constantly voted for guns, quite simply, is it is in our Constitution, yep. uh, quite simply. And we thank you. It, you know, it is, and it, it was put there not for protection. It was put there basically if we decided our government was not good enough, we can overthrow it. Yes. So that is the problem, the Constitution, nobody. I mean, come on, our founding fathers were, were, were good people and all that, but they couldn't have figured this out. And by the way, I read a book about George Washington, uh, and they took guns away from some of their people who were drinking too much, who were acting strange. They took the guns away from them. Oh, I did so, not know that. So, but they forgot to write that in. If they're acting nuts, take their guns away from them. Oh, I did not. I know the, the uh, British confiscated guns, and that's yeah. really how things got started. Well, yeah, the British certainly did. And in fact, one, some of the great shooters, meaning marksmen who, who contest in, in shooting things, uh, lost their guns. Oh. So that, was, that, that went a little too far, I think. Yeah. A little, little too far. But we are on the, I don't know what the, how to solve that. You, you, when you make a, a, a comment about cars driving people, ah, that's stupid, OK? Well, just, but I'm just, just saying. To, I know, but just stick to the guns. It's a good, but why do we have to pick on just the gun, the item? Why not pick on the because, mental illness because, of that individual? Because if, you, if you've watched TV just in the last six weeks or two months, more people with telephones are taking pictures of people getting shot. Yes. OK? Yes, they are. And sometimes it looks like it's the police who are doing it. Although, well, when they're wearing a badge in North Carolina, it looked like a policeman to yeah. me. Well, let's just get something straight. 99.9% .9 of the police are wonderful. Yes, absolutely and, they are. And very important. There's that one-tenth of 1% one yep. who just shouldn't be there. Yes, in the police the good police, which are the majority, could get rid of the bad, but they won't because of, you know, the unions or the code blue or whatever that brotherhood they have. And that is the truth. They're told to look the other way, and I, it, it, it just think, bothers me. I think that might be breaking down a little. And I think now with the body cameras, I think that's I agree. really... In fact, a body camera saved a police officer. Yes. Uh, because the guy, people said that he did something, and the yeah. body camera, because he could have got blamed in another riot, with the body camera, it showed no. He did, not only did he not do that, the person assaulted him. Yes. Yeah. So that was, that's good. So body cameras, I think, will be very, very good. Well, I think eventually all, all police will have body cameras. That's what I really do believe, you know, that, that it's going to head that way. I they're remember gonna, when Kyle... You're going to need a big camera to look yeah. at your body, <laughs> my body. Get the wide lens. The real wide lens. <laughs> but, you know, when when, Ken, uh, when uh, Representative um, Kyle Tasker, when he first put the bill in, everybody looked at him like he had three heads. I know. And now they're all looking, going, hey, where's Kyle's bill? Uh, uh, maybe we better dust that thing off. And Talking about bills, uh, this is the fourth...
time I have put a bill in, a teacher protection bill, and this is the fourth time that the Senate has shot it down. I TL'd it. And Why? I am getting sick of this. We go through committees, two committees, actually. Yeah. Went to the House, you know. Uh, there was an amendment on it. Then went to the Senate, all right. And it sort of like worked kind of well. And then they ITL'd it. So, uh, you, you know, you ask about schools and you're talking about teachers. And protection means if they break up a fight, the kids can't sue them because they're yes. touching them. Yes. Okay. We got three minutes left. Fourth of July is coming up. What's going to be taking place in your part of the world? In Golfstown. Well, we got the Fourth of July uh, parade over to New Boston. I'll be in it with my antique tractor, 1953 Firemall Super C. Really? Yeah, it's old looking. Uh, you know, a lot, half, a third of the people tell me to paint it, and two thirds are telling me, John, leave it rusty looking. Because everybody has a, a, a shiny new tractor. tractor. Yeah, even though it's antique, it's all shiny. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, so I'm saying, hey. I, you know. So you're going to be driving a tractor? Yeah, yeah, I'll be in the parade driving my tractor. And they've invited you into the parade? No, I invite myself. Okay, well, they didn't invite <laughs> me either. <laughs> so, yeah, I can, yeah, I can see me. Get barring your tractor yeah. <laughs> going down the street. Yeah. Well, there's oh, room on the draw bar. They you can hang on. The... That over me. Right? <laughs> you can ride on the draw bar. <laughs> oh, I, I'd say I'm going to go with you. <laughs> Hold up the Democrat. I mean, all the Republicans yeah. throwing stuff. Uh, well, this has been, you know, we got about two minutes, and uh, yeah. this has been always fun. Yes, yes, it is. Well, you know a bill we should put in? What? You know how when the governor ha uh, vetoes a bill? Yes. She has to write why. And, and we didn't talk about that. Well, when the House or the Senate ITLs a bill, inexpedient to legislate, kills the bill, yeah. I think they should have to give a reason. I think she did give a reason. Oh, she does, yes, because that's law. Does it, isn't it law that she has to give us a reason? Well, yes. Well, why can't the, the... why you want to make a law for it? Oh, no, for the senators. Oh, wait a minute. Your bill. You know, they killed your bill four years in a row. I want to know why, because it's a good bill. Uh, I don't know. I think teachers are really, really treated very poorly. I think so, and too. I, and, and believe me, I have done my best. So teachers have always supported me. Yeah. My wife was a teacher for 22 years, yeah. so so I, I feel bad about that. But the, my bill to study arts and the Where's incomes. That? Oh, that went through. Well, that went through, but I didn't get put on the committee <sighs> to study it. Not yet, anyway. You should so because I, well, it's your I know bill. It's my bill, and I, I only had eight people on it. And goes to the Senate, comes back with fourteen people. Well, then the problem is they, yeah, you know, that's what it is. You know, they added so many people. So they don't want me because I don't want fourteen people. Yeah. They ruled me. <laughs> Thirty-five seconds. Listen, John, I want to thank you very, very much, and uh, yes. we uh, will do this again. I think we got to. I think we work good together. Oh, I think so too. I, you know, I get a lot of good comments when I air these shows up to Golfstown. The only reason why I get good comments is because you beat me up. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't believe in me, they believe in you. Is that right? Well, up in Golfstown, it's pretty right. conservative. How can people get in touch with you quickly? Uh, BertNH.com is my email, or John at BertNH.com, or look me up on Facebook. Great. Ken Gidge, that's real simple. Goodbye, folks. Nice seeing you. Yep. Bye.
The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.